Hello and welcome to the WarP installation tutorial. If you are running Windows, the first step will be to download Git for Windows. We can download the installer and you can run the installer using the default parameters. If you are running Mac or Linux, you, this part won't be necessary. So here you can just hit next and keep all the default parameters. Okay, the installation is done. We can just hit finish. You can go to the Biop GitHub account and download the Biop Bash scripts, which are scripts which will simplify a lot the remaining parts of the installation. So you can hit the code green button and download the zip file, which will contain all the scripts from this repository. You can unzip the zip file and within the zip file you will find this install warp.sh script so we can just double click it the script is starting and we need to enter an installation path so here we are on windows so let's just type c and let the script start there are a few steps uh, which will occur. The first one being the installation of image FEG. So right now, because it was not installed, it's being downloaded from internet. The FEG is being unzipped. And to finalize FEG installation is being first updated. And finally, the Big Data Viewer Playground update site is being also installed. Okay, so we are on Windows, and here the installer checks whether Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable is installed. And if, if that's not the case, as here, it will download and launch the installer. So you need to accept the license condition and install it. So you can just close the installer. And right now, the Elastix uh, software is installed and Fiji is launched in order to set the path. Um, in order for Fiji to be aware of uh, where Elastix is located. So once this part is set up, finally QPass is being downloaded if it's not already installed on your installation pass. So right now it's being downloaded from internet and it will be either installed on a Mac where it will require your admin password or in Windows it's simply um, an unzipping which does, uh, does not require any particular permission. Once QPass is installed, um, it, there are some extensions which needs to be installed and they are automatically installed with this script. And the installation is actually made um, through Fiji. And right now the script uh, has finished, which means that this installation is done. There is still one last thing that you can check for your installation. It's to run uh, an example registration. And to do that, you can go to your C drive or wherever you install your software, start image A, and there we will download the script, which link is described in the description of the video. So you can hit row, select all, copy this script and paste it in a new text window within Fiji. Since this is a groovy script, you need to specify the language of this script. And finally, you can run it. There is a warning message telling you that um, Big Data Viewer Playground update site should be installed. And this should be done already thanks to the installer script. You may want need to specify Elastix and Transformix executable file location, but normally this is already set uh, also by 
the installer script. So let's just hit OK. And the registration between this blobs file and this one, which is rotated by 15 degrees, is being started. This task is running on the background. And finally, if everything was successful, you should see these three images, moving image, the reference image, and the registered one, which is identical to the second one. Since these two images look identical, it's pretty good. Everything looks like it's being set up. So we can just stop this video and you can go to the next one.